involved in that double murder in Tampa Palms. As we reported last night, high explosives were found at the murder scene, and the FBI has now joined the Tampa police in their investigation. Jeff Patterson joining us live tonight in Tampa Palms with the new details in this ongoing investigation. Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Keith. This started back here at the Hamptons in normally quiet Tampa Palms, but now the FBI and ATF are involved because of the disturbing things they found inside at the murder scene. I mean, this has always been a, such a safe place, and so we never expected anything like that to happen. It's a neighborhood in shock. Friday, residents were forced out after authorities found high explosives and bomb-making material inside this apartment. Police also found the bodies of 22-year-old Jeremy Himmelman and 18-year-old Andrew Wanschuk inside after their roommate, 18-year-old Devin Arthurs, told police he had killed them. From posts on Facebook, Wanschuk and Himmelman appear to be average kids from just outside of Boston. But a more thorough look at their online footprint shows a darker side. Wanschuk and Himmelman frequently post on a neo-Nazi website called The Daily Stormer. A post about their death claims these are good guys who are dead for no reason. The founder of the neo-Nazi website, Daily Stormers, emailed me to confirm Arthur's was once also a neo-Nazi, but was booted off the site when he tried to get people to convert to Islam. Police arrested a fourth roommate, Brandon Russell, in Key Largo, after authorities found high explosives, bomb-making material, and evidence of radioactivity inside their apartment, which is why neighbors here are still understandably on edge. Uh, you don't think it could ever happen around you? I was able to confirm today that Brandon Russell is a member of the Florida National Guard. He's listed as a private first class. He's assigned to a unit in Pinellas Park, but he has never deployed. He is being held on federal charges related to the explosives. Devin Arthurs is being held, Keith, on the two counts of murder. He has a hearing scheduled in a Hillsborough County courtroom tomorrow. You know, Jeff, you did this story yesterday. I started looking up high explosives. This is serious stuff found in that apartment area. And I asked you yesterday, and I'm still going to ask you because I think everybody wants to know, what were they going to do with these explosives? Any idea yet what was going to be uh, exploded? Yeah, well, we put that... We put that inquiry into the FBI. They aren't saying a lot about this case other than the filings that they've already made in U.S. District Court. Uh, they are just telling us again that there is no no information about an imminent threat as a result of anything that was going on back there. All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live. Thank you, Jeff.